guide for inner spiritual work. Rabbi Michael Ben Pesach Portnar Lesson 2 The Matter of Spiritual Attainment We discern many degrees and discernments in the world. It is necessary to know when do we speak about discernments or attainments? Is it regarding the souls from the point of view of what they're receiving in this world? This adheres to the rule. What we do not attain, we do not know by name. This is because the word name indicates attainment, like a person who gives the object a name after having attained something about it according to his attainment. Hence, reality in general is divided into three discernments with respect to spiritual attainment. One, Atzmuto, his essence. Two, Ein Sof, infinite. Three, the souls. One, we do not speak about Atzmuto at all. This is because the root and the place of the creatures begin in the thought of creation, where they are incorporated, as it is written. The act ends in the preliminary thought. 1. The only creating strength. 2. Ein Sof pertains to the thought of creation, that is, his desire. 2. To do good to his creations. This is considered Ein Sof, and it is the connection existing between Atzmoto and the souls. We perceive this connection in the form of desire to delight the creatures. Ein Sof is the beginning. It is called a light without a vessel, yet it is the root of the creatures, meaning the connection between the Creator and the creatures, called His desire to do good to His creations. This desire begins in the world of Ein Sof and extends through the world of Asiya. Two. Quality, the high laws of the universe. The universe. Three, the souls receive the benefit he wishes to give. He is called Ein Sof because this is the connection between Atzmoto and the souls, which we perceive as his desire to do good to his creations. We have no utterance except for the connection of desire to enjoy, and this is the beginning of the study. All the worlds are in themselves considered light without a vessel. Where there is no utterance, they are discerned as they are discerned as atzmoto. There is no attainment in them. Do not wonder, we discern much discernment there. This is because these discernments are there in potential only. When the souls come, these discernments will appear in the souls that receive the upper lights, as they have corrected and arranged. The souls will be able to receive each according to its ability and qualification, and then these discernments appear in actual fact. However, However, while the souls do not attain the upper light they are, in themselves considered atzmuto. For the souls they receive from the worlds, the worlds are considered ein sof. This is because this connection between the worlds and the souls, meaning what the worlds gives to the souls, extend from the thought of creation, and that is a correlation between the souls and atzmuto. This connection is called Ein Sof. When we pray to the Creator and ask at Him to help us and to give us what we want, we relate to the of Ein Sof. 
This is where the root of the creatures is, which wants to impart them delight and pleasure, called his desire to do good to his creations. The prayer is to Creator. The prayer is to the Creator who created us, and his name is his desire to do good to his creations. He is called Ein Sof. Because the speech comes from the restriction, and even after the restriction, no change occurs in him, as there is no change in the light, and he always remains with this name. The proliferation of the name only relate to the receivers. Hence, the first name to appear as a root for the creatures is called Ein Sof, and this name remains unchanged. All the restrictions and the changes are made only with regard to the receivers and it always hard to the receivers and it always shines in the first name his desire to do good to his creations endlessly this is why we pray to the creator called Ain Sof who shines without restriction or end what comes afterwards becomes an end Three, and these are corrections for the receivers, so that they may receive his light. Three, limitation. The upper light is made of two aspects, attaining and attained. Everything we say regarding the upper light concerns only how the attaining is impressed by the attained. However, in themselves, meaning only the attainment or only the attained, they are all called Ein Sof. The attained is called Atzmuto, and the attaining is called Souls. Tournament, it is a part of the whole. It is new in the sense that the will to receive is imprinted in it. And in that sense, creation is called existence from absence. For them, all the worlds are regarded as simple unity, and there is no change in the godliness. This is the meaning of I, the Lord, do not change. There are no sifirot and bechinot, discernments, in godliness. Even the subtlest appellations do not refer to the light itself, as this is a discernment of atzmuto, where there is no attainment. Rather, all the sefirot and the discernment spoken of are only what a person attains in them. This is because the Creator wanted us to attain and understand the abundance as, as His desire to do good to His creations. Sefirot are corrections one has to be done or one has to do to receive the light. In the light itself, there are no changes. In order for us to attain what he wanted us to attain and understand as his desire to do good to his creations, he created and imparted us these senses, which attain their impressions of the upper light. In that regard, we were given many discernments since the general sense is called will to receive and is divided into many details according to the measure the receivers are qualified to receive. Thus, we find many divisions and details called ascents and descents, for expansion and departure, etc. For the ascents are structural and a due part in the spiritual work, and they come from the Creator Himself. Since the will to receive is called creature, and the new discernment, the utterance, begins precisely from the place where the will to receive begins to receive impressions. 5. The speech is part of the discernments of impressions. For here, there is already a correlation between the upper light and the will to receive. 5. Without a reaction of the creation, reaction of the inner being on the high light, there can't be a limitation, or in other words, there's nothing to say about, because there isn't an inner movement. There's only the misuse of his outer being without any form of giving. This is called light and vessel. However, there is no utterance in the light without a, ve without a vessel, since light that is not attained 
by the receiver is considered atzmuto, where the utterance is absolutely forbidden since it is unattainable. Moreover, how can we name what we do not attain? 6. One can receive the light only by comprehending. This comprehension comes by studying of a true book with the assistance of a true teacher and by the work at oneself. Without these three elements, the light stays incomprehensible. For this we learn when we pray the Creator to send us salvation, cure, and so on. There are two things we should distinguish. One, the Creator. Two, that which extends from Him. In the first discernment, considered atzmuto, the utterance is forbidden, as we have said above, in which is considered the light that expands into our vessels, meaning into our will to receive is what we call Ein Sof. This is the connection of the Creator with the creatures, His desire to do good to His creations, where the will to receive is regarded as the expanding light that finally reaches the will to receive. When the will to receive receives the expanding light, the expanding light is then called Ein Sof. It comes to the receivers via many covers, so the lower one will be able to receive them. 7. To receive the light on every step of the ladder, we need a proper preparation of a kli. It turns out that all discernments and the changes are made in the receiver with specific relation to what impresses the receiver. Specific relation to what impresses the receiver. However, we must discern the concerned matter. What we speak of discernments in the worlds, these are potential discernments. And when the receiver attains the, when the receiver attains these discernments, they are called actual. Eight. These are named steps of comprehension. In the worlds, there are only strengths. There is no understanding considering them. Spiritual attainment is when the attaining and the attained come together. As without an attaining, there is no form to the attained, since there is no one to obtain the form of the attained. Hence, this discernment is considered atzmuto, where there is no room for any utterance. Therefore, how can we say the attained is in his form? We can only speak from where our senses are impressed with the expanding light, which is his desire to do good to his creations, which actually comes into the hands of the receivers. 9. This place is named Masach, screen. Similarly, when we examine a table, our sense of touch feels it as hard, and we also discern its length and width, also according to our senses. However, it does not necessitate the table will indeed appear as the same to someone who has different senses. For example, in the eyes of an angel. 10. When it examines a table, it will see it according to its senses. Hence, we must not determine any form in the eyes of an angel, since we do not know its senses. 10. The strength of the universe fulfilling its particular task and is qualified with a certain qualification. It has, however, no freedom of choice. Thus, since we have no attainment in the Creator, we cannot say which form the worlds have from His perspective. We only attain the worlds according to our senses and sensations, as it was His will for us to attain Him so. 11. Only when we have a corrected kilim comprehension is possible. The more we are corrected, the more we can understand and the near observation of the true reality. This is the meaning of there is no change in the light. Rather, all the changes are in the vessels, meaning in our senses. We measure everything according to our imagination. From this it follows when many people examine one spiritual thing, each one of them will attain according to his imagination and senses. Thereby, each sees a different form. Twelve. In addition, the form itself will change in a person according to his 
ups and downs, as we have said above. Light is the only light, and all the changes are in the receivers. 12. However, the essence of each spiritual step to where he ascends stays unchanged, and the understanding is for everyone the same. This gives us the conclusion there is no arbitrary in a spiritual comprehension. When one understands step X, the light will reveal for him the same remembrance to quality which is in agreement with that step. May we be granted with this, or maybe we, may we be granted with his highlight, and follow in the ways of the Creator and serve him, not in order to be rewarded, but to give contentment to the Creator, 13, and raise divinity, 14, from the dust. May we be granted adhesion with him and the revelation of his godliness to his creatures. 13. With this he overcomes his nature. 14. The total of souls that receives the light of the Creator and spread it out over others' souls. Please refer to the written material for the text in Hebrew and also refer at the end of the lesson to the table from four columns, which are what to correct, with what, result, and goal. Be well until the next lesson.